Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. So as luck would have it or maybe coincidences would have it, uh, I am doing a video today with my playoffs for 2011, the day that the Stanley Cup Finals starts in real life in 2020. So today is the first game between the Stars and the Lightning. Um, let me know who you think is going to win. I have the Lightning in six games personally, uh, but you know who knows uh, Dallas has been playing really well in those playoffs and I uh, Miro Eskinen is really 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 good so and Kudobin's been pretty good in net too so the series could really go either way but I have a little bit of a I'm favoring a little bit Tampa Bay at this point so I'm saying Tampa Bay in six let me know who you have uh, as for my game here, we still have a few games left uh, here in April before we kick in the playoffs. We are assured to finish first in the East, and like I said at the end of the last video, uh, there's only a handful of teams that it looks like we're going to face. Uh, could be anybody between Florida, Toronto, Buffalo, and maybe New Jersey, uh, if they have a little bit of luck. They have a little bit more games than the others to play, so we'll see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we still have quite a few injuries. A lot of them are only day-to-day -day and are almost all recovered, except for Pavel Datsyuk, who shouldn't be back, uh, not even if we make the finals. I really don't think he's going to be ready. So we will be heading into the playoffs without Pavel Datsyuk. All right, so we're going to go ahead and advance one day, and then we're going to be playing Toronto first. All right, board confidence update. Eugene Melnick is still very happy with my work because we went 14 and 1 last month. That's pretty hard to beat. All right, Ryan Whitney is better. All right, and Toronto is in town. Actually, we have three home games before finishing the season on the road in Boston. Uh, Toronto is one of the teams that we may be facing in the first round. They are 39, 33, and 6, and right now they are in 8th place in the East. We are 4-0-1 oh, against Toronto this season. Alright, and they are going to be sending the monster, Jonas Gustafsson, and that we are going to go with Brian Elliott. And we lost 3-2. Oh... Is that a is that a sign? I don't know. We outshot Toronto thirty-eight to twenty-five in that one. Uh, Alex Steen was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Eric Carlson was the second star with an assist, and Gustafsson was the third star with thirty-six saves. We had eighteen thousand one hundred and thirty-seven people in attendance for that game. So Toronto took a two-nothing lead into the first period. And then a 3 nothing lead early in the second period. And then Jason Spezza scored his 50th goal of the season. So he did reach 50 goals. Assisted by Petrus Bergeron. So Spezza the 50 goal scorer. That's pretty cool. And it was 3 to. But what was not cool is that it was 3 to 1 Toronto after 2. Then in the third period, uh, Joe Thornton scored from Marianosa and Eric Carlson, made it 3 2 Toronto, but we could not come back and tie the game. Chris Kelly converts to left wing. All right, and we are about to host the Flyers in a few days. Mike Camilleri has produced 600 points in his career. He did get a goal against Dallas. Mike Camilleri is 28 and he's three and a half stars. Still, so pretty good player. Still in LA. In, in real life, Camilleri moved quite a bit uh, of teams despite having a knack for the net, but uh, bounced around quite a bit. Right, and Volchenkov, who didn't play at all this season, might be back soon. All 
Oh, okay, so that's Ryan Jones, uh, John DeSalvatore, Jeff Wawitka, and Martin Biron are all on waivers. Jason Pominville has a great game in Buffalo. He had a hat trick against the Hurricanes. Oh, the Lightning fired John Tortorello with just a handful of games left to go in the game. And he is replaced by Brent Sutter. So Brent Sutter is not a coach in Tampa Bay, and John Tortorella is free. And Ansi Niemi is finally recovered from his injury. All right. And Anton Volchenkov is finally able to play. It's been a long time coming for him. Uh, who am I gonna send down? I'm gonna send down Matt Unwick. Alright, so Philadelphia is in town. Uh, they are pretty good. They are 45, 28, and 6. That's good for 6th in the East. We are 1-1-1 one, one, and one against Philadelphia this season, which means that we have one win and two losses, so I'd like to at least win this game. Alright, so Sergei Bobrovsky is going to be in net for the Flyers, and Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us. And we won 6-1. to one. There you go. So we outshot the Flyers 42-20. to 20. Sam Gagné was the first star of the... I had to double check. <laughs> I think it was Simon Gagné. But uh, Simon Gagné doesn't have an R at the end of his name. Very similar when you look at it from here with just the first initial. Anyway, so Sam Gagné was the first star. He had a goal and two assists. Martin Ansel was the second star with two goals and an assist. And Drew Doughty was the third star with an assist. We had 18,491 people people in attendance for this game. So we took a 3-0 lead into the first period. Alex Pietrangelo scored first. It was a power play goal from Jason Spitzer and Joe Thornton. Then Martin Ansel from Sam Gagne and Ryan Whitney. And then Marian Osa scored his 15th from Drew Daly and Joe Thornton. And it was 3-0 Suns after one. Then in the second period, Martin Ansel scored, made it 4-0, and then, oh, former Ottawa Senator Martin Avlat scored for Philadelphia, made it 4-1 Ottawa, and then Sam Gunny scored from Martin Ansel, made it 5-1 Sens after two. And then finally in the third period, Brooks like scored from Sam Gagne and Zdeno O'Shara, and it was 6-1 at that point, and nobody else would score, meaning 6-1 was our final score. And with that, Joe Thornton reached 900 points in his career with his two assists. Um, 31 years old, Joe Thornton is still a 3.5 star player. Alright. Uh, Jonathan Girard is available on waivers. I'm not going to pick him up. And Curtis Foster is back from suspension in New Jersey, back in the lineup over there. Right, we are about to host the Montreal Canadiens. Right, Montreal, as much as I hate to say that, uh, I have a pretty great record of 52-20-8, and, and they are fourth in the East. Uh, we are 4-1 and one against Montreal this season, too. Uh, they did play Alak against us a few times this season. But this time they're going with Carey Price, we are going with Brian Elliott. And we lost 4-3, so the Habs beat us right before the playoffs. Not good. Uh, we outshot Montreal 33-28. P.K. Subban was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Jason Spezza was the second star with two assists. And Thomas Plekanic was the third star with two goals and an assist. We had 20,510 people in attendance for that game, which I believe is the max our arena can sit 
And we did open up the scoring in the first. It was Petrus Bergeron from Brooks Like and Jason Spezza. It was one nothing at that point, but Montreal scored twice to make it two to two to one Montreal after one. Then in the second period, we had Alex Pietrangelo tied game on the power play from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza. It was tied at two, but then Montreal scored twice, take a 4-2 lead. Then Chris Kelly scored on the power play. That was his 10th of the season from Petrus Bergeron and Marianosa. It was 4-3 Montreal at that point. Nobody scored in the third period. And then Zdeno Shara and P.K. Subban got into a scrap. And that was pretty much it. We lost 4-3. to three. That's not good. Two losses right before the playoffs. Matt Cullen has played in a thousand games in his career. I celebrated that with an assist. That was against Vancouver. So Matt Cullen is 34 and he is a star and a half player. And in that same game, Patrick Elias had a good game. So the x sons are in the news. Uh, Elias had three goals and an assist against Vancouver in that same game and that was a pretty good game All right, and we have one more game left uh, for the season and it's going to be in Boston Good game for Kyle Brodziak in Edmonton. He had four assists against the Wild. And Jordan Eberle in that same game had three goals and two assists. Another pretty good game. Yeah, Edmonton is going to get really good because they're getting all of those draft picks that they don't have to finish last to get like they did in real life. So they're going to get Taylor Hall, they're going to get um, McDavid, of course, uh, Dreisaitl, they're going to be really loaded. And, and they kept Devin Dubnik, which is, you know, turning out to be pretty good. So, oh yeah, I think Edmonton's going to be uh, dominating my sim here pretty soon at the same level that, you know, I am almost. Uh, also depends what they're going to do with their D, but yeah. All right, so Boston, uh, we are in Boston. Uh, Boston is not going to be in the playoffs. They don't have a very good record. They are 32, 42, and 6. That's good for 11th in the East. So we are 5-0 and against the Bruins, and we are hoping to make it 6-0 and right before the playoffs. We don't want to go in losing 3 out of 4. So Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us. Yevgeny Nabokov in net for Boston. And we won 42. Perfect record against the Bruins this season. Oh, we doubled Boston in shots. 60 to 30. Joe Thornton was the first star. He had two goals and an assist. Josef Stumpel was the second star with a goal. And Marianosa was the third star with three assists. So Boston took a 2 nothing lead into the first period and then, as it seems is always the case when those two teams play, Chris Neal and Zdeno Shara got into a fight into the first period. Then in the second period, Joe Thornton scored on the power play from Alexander Radulov and Eric Carlson, so it was 2-1 to Boston after two. And then we scored three unanswered in the third period to run away with the win. Chris Kelly tied the game with a power play marker from Mariano San Drudati. Then Alexander Redulov scored the game winner from Mariano San Joe Thornton. And then finally Joe Thornton scored his 40th from Mariano Sa. It was 4-2 Sens. And that's how that game ended. Oh, all right. So right before the playoffs, we lost Brooks like that's not good. Broken pelvis. Yeah, he's gone for the for three months, so he's not going to be playing in the playoffs. So we have to recall somebody. So we're losing some of our really good players there. All right. Who am I calling back up?
Oh boy. Alright, I'm recounting Caspar's Dagevans. Who was kind of a fan favorite for the Sands back when he was with us. Alright, great night for you, Ikim Lindstrom with the Blue Jackets. He had a hat trick against Buffalo. Tony Ludman is suspended in Calgary. He's gonna miss seven games. Ooh, and Tuka Rask is hurt in Washington. Got hurt right before. He's only day to day, so, but so. Alright, so. Yep. And we are facing the Florida Panthers in the first round of the playoffs. It has been decided. Nobody can catch them, and nobody can go down. So, that's going to be our opponent in the first round. Uh, Jochen Hecht in Pittsburgh is suspended. He's going to miss five games. Matt Green is back from suspension in Edmonton. Back in the lineup. Alright, so the nominees for the trophies, so we always look at that to see that I'm never nominated for GM of the year. Maybe I need to have a perfect record or something, maybe I'm not seen as worthy. Alright, so the heart is going to be between Daniel Sedin, Jason Spezza and Sidney Crosby. Vezina is going to be between Carey Price, Corey Crawford, and Mark Andre Fleury. So Brian Elliott not nominated for the Vezina this year. Norris is going to be between Drew Doughty, Duncan Keat, and Eric Carson. So Eric Carson is nominated for the Norris on his first season in the league. He did have 80 points. <laughs> That's ridiculously good. Uh, Drew Doughty had 51 points, plus 65, Carson was plus 45, and Duncan, Duncan Keat, 65 points, plus 60. Hmm, I think Carson wins it because he has so many points, but I don't know. The Calder is between Eric Carson, Sergei Bobrovsky, and Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall got 55 points, Bobrovsky... 38 wins and 11 shutouts, a 9.25 save percentage, and Eric Carlson got 80 points as a defenseman. Again, I think Carlson wins it, but who knows. GM of the year is going to be between Don Maloney in Buffalo, Mark Bergevin in Colorado, and Pat Quinn in Vancouver. The, f the sell key is going to be between Chris Kelly... Drew Miller and Joe Pavelski. I believe that's the same three finalists as last year. Lady Bing between Alex Goligoski, Daniel Sedin, and David DeArne. Mark Messier Leadership Award between Yarmir Jagger, Jay Boomister, and John Madden. The Ted Lindsay between Daniel Sedin, Jason Spezza, and Sidney Crosby. And the Jack Adams is going to be between Ed Olchuk, Lindy Ruff, and Mike O'Connell. All right, so the playoff three, the playoff trees should be up. So we're gonna look at that real quick, and then we're gonna look at the Panthers. All right, so in the West we have the Wild against the Blackhawks, the Red Wings against the Ducks, the Predators against the Avalanche, and the Kings against the Sharks. So there's a Californian battle there in the first round. Uh, up east, we, uh, we of course are against the Panthers, Toronto's gonna be playing Pittsburgh, the Flyers are gonna play the Capitals, and the Thrashers are gonna be playing Montreal. And that's, that's it for the first round. 
Alright, so, oh, they have a few injuries in Florida, so uh, Douglas Murray is hurt. Ryan Kessler not playing in those playoffs, he's done. And uh, Tetsasek is also hurt, so all of those guys are not going to be playing this game. Ooh, yeah, lots of half star players. So, Markstrom and LaBarbera in net, I'm not too scared by that. J. Boomister on D is pretty good. Then Jones, Jones, Paul Ranger, Sasha Gutch, Jason Garrison, Godbradson, and Yuri Fisher on D. Not too worried about the D pass. J. Boomister, there's not a whole lot there. I mean, I guess Garrison has a good shot. So, maybe. How many goals did you score this season? 13? Yeah. Uh, Tanner Glass, Nathan Orton, Matt Molson, Samsonov, Campbell, Sushinsky, Bissonnet, Dadonov, Frolik, Frolov, Stewart, Uzelius, and Oreskovic. So the forwards are decent, a couple holes, but they do have a couple injuries as well. So the forwards are decent, but the rest is kind of meh. We should be able to beat the Panthers. At least I hope. Alright, so Florida is in town. They finished the season at 38, 33, and 11. We went 4 0, perfect record against the Panthers this season. So we are going to start the playoffs, and of course, as usual, go sends go. And we are going to be facing Mark Strum in net. Brian Elliott's gonna be in net for us. And we lost the first game of this series 2 1 in overtime. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so we outshot Florida 39 to 28. Sergei Samsonov was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Petrus Bergeron was the second star of the game. He had a goal as well. And Jacob Markstrom was the third star with 38 saves. 20,431 people left the building pretty disappointed after seeing us lose in overtime. So Florida scored first. That was in the second period. And then in the third period, Petrus Bergeron tied a game from Jason Spezza and Eric Carson. It was tied at one. We went in overtime, but early in the first overtime period, Matt Molson played the hero on the power play while Sam Gagne was in the box, and we lost 2-1. Ooh, Crosby is day-to-day -day with an injury in Pittsburgh. That's If he's unable to play, that might help Toronto here. Alright, so for the other games, we have Nashville that won against Colorado, Anaheim beat Detroit, San Jose beat the Kings, uh, Chicago shut out Minnesota, Montreal beat Atlanta, we lost, Philadelphia beat the Capitals, and Pittsburgh won 4-2 against the Leafs. Alright, so Florida's back in town. Well, technically they didn't leave, they stayed there. And we are playing them again, Markstrom in net for them, Brian Elliott in net for us, and hopefully we have a better result this time. Well, we did, we won 6-2. We outshot the Panthers 49-13. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game, he had a goal and three assists. Chris Kelly was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Petrus Bergeron was the third star with two goals and an assist. 18,453 people left the building, a lot happier than the ones from game one. Although maybe there's some repeats, maybe some people went to the to both games. Alright, so Petrus Bergeron opened up the scoring in the first, that was assisted by Chris Kelly, and then he scored again shortly after from Jason Spezza and Chris Kelly. It was 2 nothing Suns at that point, and then Flor <coughs> sorry, Florida scored before the end of the period. Actually, it was 20 seconds after Petrus Bergeron scored. It was 2-1 Suns after 1. There was also a fight between Mike Fisher and Paul Bissonnette. Um, Paul Bissonnette was a pretty big guy. Well, I'm sure he still is, but uh, back when he was playing, it was a pretty big guy, so Mike Fisher might have had his ass handed to him. Although Mike Fisher could handle his own, I'm not saying that, but Bissonnette was a pretty big guy. 
Then in the second period, Florida actually tied the game, but shortly after, Chris Kelly scored from Eric Carlson and Jason Spezza. It was 3 2 cents after two. And then in the third period, we scored three unanswered goals. Zeden Oshara scored from Petrus Bergeron and Jason Spezza, then Mike Fisher from Nikita Filetov and Martin Anzel. And finally, Jason Spezza from Zeden Oshara. 6 2 was the final score in that one. The series is now tied at one. All right, and the series, of course, is going to move to Florida. And I forgot to look at the other score. I always do that, and it's usually in the first round, too. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. All right, so the Blackhawks won again. Detroit tied the, their series. Nashville won again, and the Kings tied their series. War tied. Pittsburgh won again. Philadelphia won again, and Montreal won again. Okay. Alright, we are going to be in Florida again. Uh, the series moves to Florida, sorry. And Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us. Jacob Markstrom is going to be in net for Florida. So, so the same two goaltenders here. And we won 4 to 1, so now we lead the series 2 to 1. Uh, we doubled uh, Florida in shots, 42 to 21. Alex Pietrangelo was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Drew Doughty was the second star, and he didn't get any points. And Sam Gagne was the third star with an assist. All right, so the first goal was scored by Eric Carlson from Sam Gagne and Matt Stajan. It was one nothing Suns after one. Then in the second period, Petrus Bergeron scored from Pet uh, from Alex Pietrangelo. It was 2 nothing Sens. Then Florida scored, came to within 1, but Marianosa scored before the end of the period from Joe Thornton and Alexander Radulov. It was 3-1 to Sens after 2. And then finally in the third period, Mike Fisher from Alex Pietrangelo and Nikita Filatov. And it was 4-1 Sens, the victory. And again, we are up 2-1 to one in our series. All right, and for the other scores, Nashville beat Colorado, Detroit sh get destroyed, and I'm pretty much seven to two. Well, not destroyed, but that's a pretty high-scoring game. Uh, Ellie uh, did just like us, and they turned their series around. They are now now up two to one against San Jose. Um, Chicago won against Minnesota. Atlanta came back in their series. They won that game. Philadelphia is up 3-0, and Pittsburgh is up 3-0 as well. All right. Can we make the series 3-1 for us? We can if we win. All right, so still in Florida. Still Elliott in net for us. Still Marks from in net for Florida. We lost 4 1, so the Panthers surprised us there and tied the series at 2. I'm starting to get a little nervous here that we're gonna have a first round exit or something. We are, oh, yeah, that wasn't a good game for Elliot at all. We outshot Florida 38 to 12, which means that the Panthers scored 4 goals on 12 shots. Uh. I'm sorry if you're hearing some noise in the background. There's something going on in my street. I'm not too sure what. I think the neighbor is maybe mowing or something. Anyway, so Maxim Sushinsky was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Jacob Markstrom was the second star with 37 saves. And Matt Molson was the third star with two goals. So... Uh, Florida scored early in the first period, 12 seconds in, and then with 23 seconds left in the period, Zedeno Shard tied the game from Eric Carlson and Marianosa. It was tied at 1 after 1, and there was a fight between Tanner Glass and Mike Fisher. Then in the second period, the Panthers scored twice, made it 3-1, to one, and then scored again in the third period, and it was 4-1, and that was the final score. And there was also a fight at the end of the third period between Paul Bissonnette and Zelen Oshara, two big guys getting at it. It was pointless at that point, the game was pretty much over, so I guess Shara was just frustrated. Alright, so, ooh. 
So Greg Zanon in Anaheim is suspended. He's going to miss four games, and those are playoff games. Wow. He must have probably killed somebody. All right, and the other series, uh, Colorado 1, Detroit 1, LA 1, Chicago, I believe, eliminated Minnesota. Montreal 1, we lost. Uh, Washington avoided elimination, and so did Toronto. All right, so I think only the Chicago-Minnesota series is over. Alright, so back at home with the series tied at 2, so one of us is going to have a 3-2 lead into the series, and hopefully it's us, because then I'm going to be really nervous. So Mark Storm in net again, Brian Elliott in net again, and we won 3-1, alright, I'll take it. 44-19, the shots in our favor. Jacob Markstrom was the first star despite the loss. He had 41 saves. Nathan Horton was the second star with a goal. And Drew Doughty was the third star without any points. 19,753 people probably let a sigh of relief out while they were at the arena. And there was another fight between Zdeno Shar and Tanner Glass in the first period, but nobody scored. Then in the second, Petrus Bergeron scored his fifth of the playoffs from Chris Kelly and Jason Spezza. It was 1-0 Sens after two. Then there was another fight in the second period. Alexander Radilov fought Paul Bissonnet. Wow, there's a lot of fights in that series. Maybe we're going to become uh, rivals with them with all of those fights. Then Marianosa scored in the third period from Sam Gagne and Joe Thornton. Uh, it was 2-0 Sens at that point. Then Florida scored, made it 2-1, but Patrick Eve scored in an empty net from Alexander Radulov. 3-1 the final score. So we're, Florida has us working pretty hard to try to get to the second round. Jokan Esht is back in the lineup in Pittsburgh after serving his suspension. Oh, I forgot to look at... I always do that. Not always. Often. Often is the correct word. Let's take a look at those other series. I'm sure a couple of them are over now. Alright, so Chicago eliminated Minnesota for nothing. Detroit eliminated, eliminated and I'm 4-1 after losing the first game. Nashville eliminated Colorado 4-1 and the Kings eliminated San Jose 4-1 after losing the first game there as well. We're, we are leading 3-2. Pittsburgh 1-4-1. Flyers 1-4-1 and Montreal is up 3-2 as well. Right, so there's only two series left, ours and the Canadians. Now let's try to finish that here on the road. Brian Elliott in net for us, Markstrom in net for them. And we won 3-1. to Whew, Moving on to the second round. We outshot the Panthers 57-13. to Jason Spezza was the first star. He had a goal in an assist. Jason Garrison was the second star with an assist. And Eric Carlson was the third star with an assist as well. Alright, so we took a 2-0 lead into the first period. Jason Spezza scored from Eric Carlson and Chris Kelly. Then Alexander Radilov scored on the power play from Alex Pietrangelo and Jason Spezza. 2-0 sends after 1. And then we have to go all the way to the third period to see some more scoring. Ryan Whitney scored for from Patrick Keeves and Matt Stajan made it 3-0. Then late, uh, Matt Molson scored for Florida, made it 3-1, but it was too late. They couldn't tie the game. Ah, we are facing a foe that we are familiar with. Uh, we are going to be facing the Flyers in the second round. So it's not going to be the conference finals, but we're still facing the Flyers, whom we've seen a few times in the playoffs. All right, so it's going to be Montreal against Pittsburgh and us against the Flyers, and then Detroit, Chicago, and Nashville, LA in the West. All right, so let's take a look at them flyers. No injuries in Philadelphia, so they have pretty much their best lineup against us. 
So it's Bobrovsky and Salak in net for Philadelphia. So Bobrovsky is he's three stars right now. He's not fully developed. Uh, that's good enough to do the job. As we saw, he's one of the finalists for the Calder. Uh, Party, Timonen, Gustafsson, Modri, Regeer, and Commissary Candy. That D is not great. So that's definitely their their weak point there. But the forwards, yeah, that's pretty good there. So Steve Downey, James Van Riems, like Mike Richards, Mason Raymond, Simon Gagné, Martin St. Louis, Rod Brennamore, Jeff Carter, Colin Fraser, Martin Avlet, Matt D'Agostini, Claude Giroux, Daryl Powell, TJ Oshie, and Matt Cook. Yeah, those forwards are pretty good. So, yeah. They probably could use trading, you know, at least one of their good forwards for some help on D. They really need some help on D, but other than that, the Flyers are pretty good. Oh, and uh, we went 2-1-1 one one against the Flyers this season. Alright, so Bobrovsky is going to be in net for the Flyers. We're going to play Brian Elliott. And we won 5 to 2. We abused that weak D. Shots were even 30 apiece. Jason Spezza was the first star. He had a goal and an assist. Alex Pietrangelo was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Zdeno O'Shara was the third star with also a goal and an assist. 20,510 people in attendance for that game. Alex Pietrangelo opened up the scoring in the first from Sam Gagne and Patrick Eves. And then the Flyers, actually Daryl Powell scored twice before the end of the period. And it was actually 2-1 Flyers after one. Uh, in the second period, we had Mike Fisher score from Nikita Filatov and then Jason Spezza from Alex Pietrangelo and Chris Kelly. So it was 3-2 Sands after two. And then in the third period, Petrus Bergeron scored from Zdeno Oshara and Jason Spezza. And Zdeno Oshara scored in an empty net that was a short-handed goal from Petrus Bergeron and Drew Dadi. 5-2 the final score. Alright, and... So for the other series, we have Nashville that beat LA, Detroit shout out Chicago, we won, and Montreal beat Pittsburgh. Alright, facing the Flyers again. So, of course, we are up 1 0 in that series. Bobrovsky still in net for the Flyers. Brian Elliott in net for us. And we won 2 to 1 in overtime. So, that was not an easy one here. We outshot the Flyers 48 to 34. Bobrovsky, first star of the game, despite lo uh, losing. You had 46 saves. Colin Fraser was the second star with an assist, and Sam Gagne was the third star with two assists. We kept out at uh, capacity again 20,510 people in that game. Nobody scored until past the midway point of the third period, where Chris Kelly scored on the power play from Sam Gagne. Gagne and Marinosa. It was 1-0 sense at that point, but James Van Riemsdijk tied the game with 2 minutes and 1 seconds to go. So he sent us 2 overtime. And in overtime, at 12-10 of the first uh, period of overtime, Patrick Eves was a hero from Sam Gagne and Matt Stajan, and we won 2-1. Alright, and in the other series, Nashville beat LA, Detroit beat Chicago, and Pittsburgh beat Montreal. Oh, it's that time of the year again where I have to choose Hall of Fame nominee. So, who is a nominee for the Hall of Fame? Reed Larson, Van Beesbrook, Courtnall. I'm gonna say Van Beesbrook, but you know, again, I don't see their stats unless I, you know, come here and check, and it's kind of a pain. So I'm not gonna do that. 
All right, so game three of the series, we are up to nothing. The series moves to Philly to play the Flyers, of course. All right, Brian Elliott still in net. They're still going to Bobrovsky. He played well. That, that's not his fault that his team is behind. That's probably the, his D's fault. And we won 6 to 2. Oh yeah, we outshot the Flyers 60 to 12. So even that high power offense that the Flyers have was no match here in that one. Uh, Jason Spezza was the first star, he had a goal and two assists. Alexander Radulov was the second star with two goals, and Drew Doughty was the third star with an assist. Uh, Alexander Radulov scored the first goal of the game from Matt Stajan, and then Joe Thornton on the power play from Jason Spezza and Eric Carlson. It was 2 nothing Sens at that point. Uh, the Flyers did score before the end of the first period, so it was 2-1 to one Sens after one. Then in the second period, we scored three more goals. Alexander Radulov from Drew Doughty and Patrick Eves. Then Jason Spezza from Eric Carlson and Chris Kelly. And Sam Garnier from Marianosa and Mike Fisher. It was 5-1 after two. There was a fight between Yaroslav Modry and Joe Thornton. Two unlikely guys to fight, but they did fight. And then in the third period, Mike Richards scored, made it 5-2 cents, and then Joe Thornton late in the game scored on the power play from Alex Pietrangelo and Jason Spezza. And 6-2 was the final score, and we took a serious option on this series with a 3-0 lead. Oh, and Matt Cook is hurt in Philadelphia. He's out for six months, so he's not coming back. Massive eye trauma. Alright, so Nashville beat LA, Detroit beat Chicago, Montreal beat Pittsburgh. All right, so we may be ending the series right there with a win in Philadelphia. We're up 3 nothing. We're still going to Brian Elliott. The Flyers are still going to Bobrovsky. Not his fault, he's getting shelled with 60 shots a game. And we won 2 nothing. So we swept the Flyers in the second round. We outshot them 45-15 to in that particular game. Bobrovsky, yet again, first star, great game, 43 saves, but, you know, his team didn't score. Uh, Richie Regeer got the second star without any points, and Matt Stajan got the third star with a goal. And there was no scoring in the first period, and then in the second period we scored both of our goals, Alex Pietrangelo from Drew Doughty and Patrice Bergeron, and then Matt Stajan from Nikita Filatov and Chris Kelly. And it was 2 nothing since at that point, that's how that game ended. Alright, so Flyers didn't last long against us in the second period. In the second round, sorry. All right, and Montreal eliminated Pittsburgh. Uh, Detroit eliminated. No, I think Montreal is up three to one. Uh, I think Detroit swept Chicago and LA and Nashville. I'm not sure how that is there. So it looks like we're gonna face the Habs in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now I don't want to lose against them because I don't want for them to win the cup. At this point, it's not so much that I don't want to win the cup as much as I don't want for Montreal to win it. Uh, Scott Hartnell had a good game. He had a goal and four assists against the Kings. Wow, 8-1 to one shellacking. And Pittsburgh won. They're still alive. They are still alive. Go, Pens, go. I'd rather face you than Montreal. But Montreal beat Pittsburgh 3-2, to so it's whom we are going to face in the Eastern Conference Finals. And in the West, I believe it's going to be Nashville and Detroit. Unless I got that wrong. Yeah, Detroit and Nashville in the West. Montreal and Ottawa in the East. 
I do not want to get eliminated by Montreal. Alright, so Montreal is going to be in town. They finished the season at 53 21 and 8, fourth in the East, 114 points. Really good season. We went 4 and 2 against Montreal this year. And they have two injuries, so Chris Higgins is not going to play, and neither is David Perron. So none of them are going to play, but they have a very well-balanced team. Alec and Price and Net, that's really good. The D is really good as well. They have Beauchemin, Markov, McDonough, Emelin, Jack Johnson, P.K. Subban, Matthew Schneider, Sheldon Sorry, and Tim Gleason. Yep, I guess... Their worst defenseman is Sheldon Sorry, I guess. Maybe the aging Matthew Schneider. He's 41 in my game. And then up front, we have Pexi already, uh, Justin Williams, Stephen Wise, Derek McKenzie, Thomas Buchanan, Steve Ott, Imanen, Letero, Crab, Bruley, Erickson, and Ribeiro. All right. We're going to need to find ways to win against that team. Oh, looks like they're giving the net to a lag. That's very interesting, especially, you know, 12 games played, so basically he's been the guy. And he doesn't have a very good save percentage at 884. So it's going to be a lag in net for Montreal, Brian Elliott in net for us, and I say go, sense go more than ever. We lost the first game 5-2. to two. I don't like it. I don't want to play anymore. We were odd shot 33-30. to 30. Thomas Pekanitz was the first star of the game. He had three assists. J Justin Williams was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Louis Erickson was the third star with a goal and an assist. 20,510 people all cursed at the same time in the arena in Ottawa. Alright, so Montreal scored three goals in the first period. They were up 3 0 after one. They were up 4 0 sometime in the second period. Then Petrus Bergeron scored an uh, unassisted goal. It was 4 1 Montreal after two. And then in the third period, Petrus Bergeron uh, reduced the lead. It was 4 2 Montreal, but you know, with four seconds left to go in the game, Montreal scored an empty netter, 5 to the final score. Ugh. Of course, I have two, I have my two first line left wingers injured in Datsuk and Brooks like. So of course that does not help. And in the West, Detroit won against Nashville. All right, and now Montreal is yet again in town. I like in net for Montreal again. Elliot in net for us again. We lost five two again. Wow. Ugh, doesn't look good. I don't like it. Uh, Montreal outshot us twenty eight to twenty three. Uh, who is that? JT Wyman, I think. Something like that. Uh, was the first star. He had two assists. Crab was the second star with two goals. And Steve Ott was the third star with two assists. 20,510 people are on the verge of tears in Ottawa to see their great rival beat them twice like that. Eric Carlson opened up the scoring in the first period from Chris Kelly and Petrus Bergeron. And then Montreal scored two goals. And it was 2-1 to one Montreal after one. Then in the second period, they took a 4-1 lead, and then Eric Carson scored on a power play from Joe Thornton and Jason Spitzer. And Montreal was up a double on us. And then in the third period, they scored again, made it 5-2. And we are down 0-2 in that series. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. All right, uh, Nashville tied their series against Detroit, so at least they're doing better than we are. Now, of course, you know, the series is moving to Montreal at the Bell Center with all of their crazy fans that punch uh, 
sends girl fans in the stands, which happened in real life, by the way. So, great job. Um, yeah, not much to say. We are on the road in Montreal. We are losing. Brian Elliott in net so for us. We're not moving to Antiniemi because despite those two losses. And Alec is in net so for Montreal. Why not? He just beat us twice. Alright, we won that game 2-1. to one. So we're back in the series. Down 2-1 in the series now. So the road team has won absolutely every single game in that series so far. Montreal outshot us again 22-20. Petrus Bergeron was the first star. He had an assist. Louis Eriksson was the second star. He had an assist as well. And Zdeno Schauer was the third star with a goal. Montreal scored in the first period, and then Eric Carlson tied it from Sam Gagne. It was tied at one after one. And then all the way in the third period, Zdeno Oshara scored the game winner from Petrus Bergeron. 2-1 to one sends Montreal leads the series 2-1. to one. And so is Detroit, because they beat Nashville 4-1. to one. Alright, in Montreal again, we're going to try to tie the series up. Elliot in net, Alec in net. Ooh, we lost 3-2. to two. We're losing 3-1 to one in the series against the Canadians. Shots were tied, 21 apiece. Louis Erickson was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Joe Thornton was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Thomas Pekanitz was the third star with a goal. So Montreal scored first in the first period. Then Joe Thornton scored from Drew Dottie and Petrus Bergeron. And it was tied at one after one. Then all the way into the third period. Uh, JT Wyman scored, made it 2-1 Montreal, and then Eric Carlson scored his fifth on the power play from Jason Spezza and Joe Thornton. Tied the game up, but 30 seconds later, Thomas Plikanet scored the game winner. We lost 3-2. And we got another injury. Patrick Eves is hurt. Yeah, at this point, I'm not sure it's going to matter who I call back up. I think our journey is pretty much close to be over. I'm going to get Eric Condra back up. All right. Uh, Nashville tied their series, so it's 2-2 over there. All right, Eric Condra needs a number. There you go. All right, well, that may be the last game we play. Um, well, play is a pretty strong word. I don't really play games. I sim them, but... So, alright, so Alak in net for Montreal, he's been really good against us, and Brian Elliott in net for us. Oh boy. Alright, I'm going to click the button, and if I get eliminated, I'm going to be really sad. Oof, we won one nothing. Oh boy, one nothing game, so... <clears throat> We're still down 3-2 in the series. Uh, Montreal outshot us 37-21. Brian Elliott was the first star of the game with 37 saves, a W and a shutout. Thomas Placanitz was the second star despite not getting any points. And Joe Thornton was the third star with an assist. 20,510 people in attendance for the game. And the only goal of the game was scored early in the first period from Marianosa. And it was assisted by Eric Carlson and Joe Thornton. And it was a one nothing game. In the second period, Zeleno Shar and P.K. Subban did fight. All 
Oh, Nashville took a 3-2 lead in their series against Detroit with a 3-0 win. Alright, so we're playing in Montreal again. We are facing elimination yet again, so we don't want for that to happen, of course. I mean, if you want for me to lose against Montreal, knowing how much I hate them, that's not very nice of you. But yeah, we are facing elimination. Brian Elliott, Yaroslav Alexelinet, I'm pressing the button and I'm closing my eyes. I, I don't know what the result is, I'm not looking, I'm looking now. Oh, we won 4-2. Series tied at 3, oh my god. So we... Outshot Montreal 26 to 21. Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had three assists. PK Subban was the second star with two assists, and Eric Carson was the third star with two assists. Uh, we open up the scoring in the first. Marianosa scored first from Alexander Radulov and Joe Thornton. Then Montreal tied the game, but shortly after Nikita Filatov scored from Eric Carson and Zdeno Shara. Two to one sends after one. Then in the second period, Jason Spezza scored his fifth. That was a power play goal from Joe Thornton and Eric Carson, made it 3-1. Montreal came to within one by scoring a goal, but then Marianosa scored his fifth from Drew Doughty and Joe Thornton. It was 4-2 Sens after two. And nothing of note happened for the rest of the game, so we won 4-2 series tied at three. Oh, series tied at 3 in the West, too, so both series are going to the limit. <clears throat> and Rick Zetterberg had a strong game in that game 6. Uh, for Detroit, he had 4 assists. Pretty good. Alright, we are... Well, facing elimination again, but with a win, we are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. So that's uh, pretty much what this is all about. I like in net for Montreal, Elliot in net for us. Oh god, I'm gonna close my eyes again. I'm clicking on the button and I'm not checking and now I'm checking and we lost. Oh my god. Montreal is going to the Stanley Cup final. I wanna throw up. They do have a good team in there, but still. Now I hope that whoever won game seven in the West wins in four games. So for the first time in many years, the Ottawa Senators did not win the Stanley Cup. Look at that. All right, so Montreal had shot us 27 to 25. Uh, Steven Weiss was the first star of that game. He had two goals and an assist. Chris Kelly was the second star with an assist. And Thomas Placanitz was the third star with two assists. 20,510 people were as disappointed as I am, or slightly less. Uh, Drew Doughty actually opened up the scoring in the first period from Jason Spezza and Chris Kelly. We were up 1-0, but then Montreal tied the game, so it was tied at 1 after 1. In the second period, Montreal scored, made it 2-1 Montreal. And then they scored in the third period as well, made it 3-1. We could never tie the game, and Montreal is going to the Stanley Cup Finals, and we are not. And they are going to face Detroit, who trounced Nashville 9-2 in, in Game 7. A night to remember for Kevin Dahlman in that game, he had 4 assists. And Sean Matthias had also 4 assists in that game. Alright, well, our season is over. So now it's going to be all about Montreal and Detroit in the Stanley Cup Finals. Go Red Wings, go! I'm a big fan. I'm pretty sure it would have been a different series if I would have had access to those two guys here. That you can like, that hurt to not have them. Detroit won Game 1, 43. Those are my guys. Oh, Montreal won 6 to 1 the second game, so it's tied at 1. In the series, of course. Yeah, Patrick Eves is about to come back. It's too late, so we lost. 
Montreal won game three, one nothing. They are up two to one in the series. That's not good. Somebody needs to uh, to uh, feed them bad food so they all have diarrhea or something. And then they can't play right, and then Detroit ties the series. Oh, I have an healthy player here. There you go. All right, Detroit tied the series with a 5 nothing win. So that's good, of course. All right, who am I voting for for the Hall of Fame? And uh, Mario Lemieux, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I guess uh, Pierre Turgeon Danfous. I'm gonna vote for Kelly Owanson because he played for the Suns. I got him when we didn't have much depth on D, and he was pretty good for us. So I'm gonna, gonna vote for him. I'm a shameless Homer. There you go. Go Red Wings, go! Uh, Montreal won 4-3. They are leading this series 4-3. Uh, 3-2, sorry. If they were leading the series 4-3, they would have won. Alright, well, if with the next click on continue, I see a bunch of emails, that means that Montreal won. Oh, they didn't. Detroit won 2 nothing. It's tied at 3. Go Red Wings, go. I'm ready to. I'm willing to lend you all the players you need. Do you want Jason Spezza for the game? You can have him. I have done well enough that they have extended my contract. Woohoo! I am gonna be back. Alright. Come on, Red Wings, please win. They did. Oh, yeah. Take that, Montreal fans. I know it's, you know, not real word or anything, but the Montreal fans deserve a soul crushing Game 7 defeat in the Stanley Cup Finals. No Stanley Cups for you guys. There you go. Alright, so I can deal with Detroit winning the Cup in this situation. Alright, so Detroit is the Stanley Cup champion. The salary cap has been extended. We're going to go through all of that, and then that's going to be pretty much the video at this point. Uh, Daniel Sedin won the Art Trophy. He had 89 points. That's pretty decent, but nowhere close what Jason Spitzer did. Uh, the Kenny Smite uh, goes to Jimmy Howard. Carey Price won the Vizina. Duncan Keith we, wins the Norris. Wow. He was up against two cents defenseman and he won it. So I had two chances out of three to win the Norris and I didn't. Yeah, Carlson did win the Calder after all. Pat Quinn was the GM of the year. Drew Miller won the Selkie. Jason Spezza won, wins the Maurice Richard. So he scored 50 goals. So that was the most goals scored this season. 50 goals. And he won the Art Ross. That means he le led the, the league in scoring with 125 points. Petrus Bergeron had the best plus minus in the league. He was at plus 70. And he got 80 points in 80 games, a point per game. That's plenty good enough. After a season filled with standout performances, uh, goaltender Piccarini wins Cro Roger Crozier Saving Grace Award. So he had the highest save percentage. 
Brian Elliott gets the Jennings. Lady Bing goes to De Arne. Sean O'Donnell wins the Bill Masterton. Yarmir Jagger wins the Mark Missy Leadership Award. Ted Lindsay won by Daniel Sedin. Lindy Ruff wins the Coach of the Year. And for the All Stars, we have two on each team. Drew Dottie, Jason Spitzer, Eric Carson, and Zeden O'Shara made the All Star teams. Alright. Okay, so that's pretty much where I am going to stop. Uh, so Detroit won the Stanley Cup. The Ottawa Senators did not, so our streak ended. Uh, we won several cups in a row, but every good thing must come to an end eventually. So at least it was not Montreal that won it, so I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Oops. Alright, so my game is saved and of course that means next season we get to start a new Stanley Cup winning streak as uh, we took a year off in 2000 and 2010 and 2011. Looks like we weren't able to put it off this time. So I do want to thank you for tuning in and of course if you've liked the video please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff and until I roll this game again I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.